My name is Luca Bottero and I'm a physics student at the University of Turin. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about a work I've conducted with my colleagues Francesco Calisto, Valerio Pagliarino and Simone Zeglio, which is our first attempt to produce a physics-informed and machine learning simulator for wildfire propagation. Recently, wildfires have been growing in frequency and intensity, becoming a threat to living beings and socioeconomic stability in different countries. In particular, Australia and California have suffered from severe wildfire seasons in the last years. In such a situation, it would be important to have fast and accurate wildfire spread simulators in order to evaluate several containment strategies and choose the best among them. Our benchmark is the Wither Research and Forecast System, in which a wildfire simulation can last for several hours. To speed up the simulation, we wanted a machine learning approach which was not only data driven. By looking at regular machine learning models, we can exploit the fact that neural networks can approximate any nonlinear function with arbitrary accuracy, which is the universal approximation theorem. However, neural networks need a lot of data in order to perform well, a situation which is not easily attained for natural disasters. On the other hand, Regular scientific modeling uses the physical information of a system encoded as differential equations. This method is subject to limitation when applied to chaotic systems such as natural disasters. In order to exploit the strength of both traditional and machine learning approaches, we opted for the physics-informed neural networks model. In this way, we can use environmental data to increase the accuracy of the evolution predicted by the differential equation. Because the basic building blocks of pins are neural networks, these methods avoid the curse of dimensionality. To develop our pins model, the natural choice for the language is Julia. Its high performance, together with a high level interface, makes it easy to create complex models in a simple yet performant manner. The ease of use is also possible because of the rich scientific machine learning ecosystem and its community. However, while the CML ecosystem is very powerful, it is still at an early stage of development. Sometimes the errors thrown are difficult to debug and the documentation is not always helpful enough. In the most general case, we want to find a set of target functions which satisfy a system of PEEs. We first construct a surrogate solution as a neural network, then we exploit the fact that mathematically a neural network is a composite function and calculate its derivative by using the chain rule. We then compute its loss by joining an L2 norm between the real and predicted boundary condition with one referred to the PDE definition. We then perform a gradient descent to train our neural network. The key feature of this approach is that it converts an integration problem to a minimization one, the latter being easier to handle. Usually, the wildfire propagation is described by the level set equation, in which the fire line is defined as the level curve at C equal to zero. The parameter S contains all the information about the wind, the slope of the terrain, the fuel type, and the other factors that influences the spread of the fire. This is the results we obtained compared to the output of the Wither Research Forecast simulation of the Isom Creek fire. It can be seen from the picture that the agreement is not perfect due to a limitation that we'll talk about in a few seconds. Our approach has the following advantages. The use of physical information allows us to keep the neural network small while avoiding the curse of dimensionality. In addition, the neural network's output is continuous and generalizes outside the training domain. The neural PDE package is GPU enabled and provides both high and low level interfaces. It integrates with a large amount of discretization strategies found in the CML ecosystem. Modeling Toolkit has a very high level interface for pins, allows us to handle a large class of problems and is easily interfaced with automatic differentiation libraries. The usage of an high level interface is a key advantage of the modeling toolkit and neural PDE libraries. This is crucial when the equations are complex and have a lot of parameters. This overcomes the need for writing a custom server for every problem, 
a task that is very time consuming and a potential source of errors. During our work, we found the following limitation to our approach. The physics-informed neural networks model works well only on scaled-down version of a real domain and are sometimes subject to numerical instabilities. Furthermore, we observed a strong dependence of the neural network behavior on the parameter initialization, rendering the comparison between runs difficult. In addition, the neural PDE and modeling toolkit libraries have some limitation that was difficult to overcome and limited the applicability of our approach. In particular, the inability of giving a grid of inputs in the PDE problem made it impossible to exploit the fuel map, explaining the discrepancy between our model and the baseline seen before. In conclusion, the study we carried out is an exploration of the behavior of some of the Julius CIML libraries in a real-world context. We think that this could be a first step of this technology outside the research environment. Despite the current limitation and the early stage of development of some of the instruments used, we think that PINs-based simulators are worth further study. We must underline that our approach is not always the best choice for solving systems of PDEs. Since there is a plentiful of robust uh, traditional integral methods available for a wide range of problems. However, further improvements could make this approach even more attractive for a wide class of problems. In particular, several applications relevant for industry could benefit from the mixing of uh, physical priors and sensor data in a performant yet easy way, boosting the impact that the Julia language could have on real-world situations. My colleagues and I would like to acknowledge in particular the University of Turin for the support, Christopher Korkas for his valued help, and the industry Molificio Stigiano for providing the necessary computational power. Of course, I want to thank my colleagues Simon Azeglio, Francesco Calisto and Valerio Pagliarino. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.